So, morning and welcome to another Vantech Tuesday. Bom dia, as we're in Portugal. This week's um, episode is a bit more of an amalgamated bunch of questions because we got asked so many questions over the last few weeks because we had the two little specials, the solar panel one and the toilet one. So I've kind of like grouped them up into a little bit of a condensed session. Um, so the first question this week is, uh, can I daisy chain LED lights and USB sockets? Um, and the simple answer to that one is yes, it's you know a series of very small low power LED lights that's fine make sure your cable size is right and the same with USB sockets it's just a matter of calculating your load isn't it yeah I think the things to bear in mind you've got best to run positive and negative to each fitting so you loop through both the red and the black as you go through and then obviously you need to then size your fuse so that it can handle all of the devices that are connected um, one thing to bear in mind and a better way to do it is to do a ring circuit that's how house wiring is done yeah so run all your cables through each device and then back to the source and then that way power can flow in both directions um, and so then it avoids things like voltage drop and it also helps with cable size yeah and it could be that the return passes through your, your light switch or something Absolutely. like that because yeah. um, obviously that's something to bear in mind there needs to be a switch somewhere on your lighting circuit so um, and USBs are probably going to be the more tricky one to calculate because you need to work out how many sockets you've daisy chained and if it's like a phone some modern phones that can draw up you know quite a few amps um, and it might take you know three or four hours to charge so you need to make sure that if you are charging many things at high amps that the cable you're using is up for the job and same again on the fuse on the other end um, the next one again it's about pretty much the same sort of thing high use of high amps uh, and I get asked this an awful lot and it is simply can you use a microwave in a camper van um, and I guess the short answer is you actually could I guess if you just yeah. wanted to like warm a cup of tea or something yeah, like that sure. yeah like you say just for a short burst to warm a cup of tea or something like that yeah okay you can get away with it but anything you heat electrically is just going to use a lot of power yeah so that is something to bear in mind if you want to go away and do all the calculations yourself um, and then pack your van with more batteries than you ever want um, to run a microwave that's fine too just bear in mind you need to charge them as well <laughs> which is the flip side of needing a lot of power so that's just what it is really uh, next question um, and this one's kind of like me um, since removing my lithium batteries have I had to sacrifice on any power um, and simple answer to that is no I did think at the time you know you're going to removing these massive big batteries and replacing them with you know lesser powered old-fashioned technology <laughs> that's only got half the capacity but actually no um, the the systems we've got uh, that are in the van are more than capable of charging my batteries so we still use the coffee machine we still use the uh, Mandy's instant pot and everything else and obviously being closer to the equator has helped with solar charging and stuff like that but we do drive an awful lot um, and the battery to battery charge has been coping really well with that as well so um, no um, and the kind of leading on to that is another part of that which was the other part of the question would you put install lithium again and, and I no. I just wouldn't uh, yeah it's a weight saving and for the weight and the size you get a little bit more power but no not for me but I, th I think with all solar and battery things and I get a lot of questions about electrics the key to it is managing your power usage for what the weather conditions are like currently mm. and, and what you can actually generate at that moment in time yeah so if it's not very good conditions cloudy and whatever and you're not getting a lot of solar manage your power better don't use as much power and then you're not draining your batteries so much yeah. and that's how we sort of you know if we've got lots of sun like it's quite sunny today yeah we can charge all our tech charge yeah. our laptops and and that's the best way to look after your batteries yeah so i hope that helps and if you are thinking about lithium there are probably far better videos out there than any of my videos to watch about lithium because it went horribly wrong for me um right moving on uh, this is a really good one mate uh, do you miss anything now you don't have a house or flat <laughs> yeah i do actually <laughs> 
most people who know me i'm quite a big motorhead i like my cars and bikes and things like that yeah and um yeah i'm really missing not having a bike because they're around everywhere yeah we're, we're, we're <laughs> doing all those lovely little uh, sort oh, of winding yeah. country roads down, the, all, all down that, yeah. the mountains and all those little twisty turny roads around yeah. the valleys and that and yeah to be able to blast around those on a bike would be awesome so i miss having the garage i miss tinkering around with those sort of things because i used to do a lot of bike rebuilds and engine yeah. rebuilds and things like that I had the kit car and one thing or another so i'd like, really miss tinkering around in the garage with so you just need a little workshop somewhere don't you yeah i need to tow a little workshop on the back <laughs> of the <a> van <laughs> yeah so yeah i definitely would love to have another bike yeah. i miss that from my point of view um i don't miss anything other than maybe a little bit of space mm. um, and that just is the fact that even if you can go outside on a nice day um, it just takes one or two days of miserable weather yeah. like we've had the last couple of days and you do get cabin fever so yeah that's... you guys have been struggling a little bit with the size of the yeah. van you? yeah so that's the only thing but um, we might change the van might not if we find an ideal layout who knows and that might change my answer to be no i don't miss anything about a house i certainly don't miss paying rent mortgage and all the bills oh no i don't miss that at all <laughs> <laughs> that was the best day that was deleting yeah. all those direct debits and standing orders yeah. yeah actually the best day for me was about three weeks ago the road council wrote to us and said uh, we owe you 270 quid oh, on your council tax bonus. <laughs> <laughs> tax refunds are the best <laughs> um right here's another one for you then and you probably just answered this but it is maybe a bit scuppered with a, a certain phrase they've used if you could add one thing to your van reasonable budget okay what would it be yeah well we were thinking about having a bike trailer to be honest i know this this is not for lou this is totally selfish on my part yeah. but it's something that possibly would look at because to bring a bike with us maybe a transverse mounted trailer oh, yeah. so it doesn't take up too much room on the back of the van mm. and uh, just something where i could just nip out and have a bit of a blast about but that's me being totally selfish i'm sure lou would have a completely different idea of what she would like in the van she'd say bigger batteries inverter hair dryer <laughs> <laughs> yeah and straighteners yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what mandy would say as yeah. well uh, my answer um i don't know because i've really put everything into the van no budget or anything over the last 18 months um and i guess if i was really thinking about it i would love to have a tv simply for the fact that we had the projector as a solution with a little panel that we put up and it works all right doesn't yeah, yeah. it and um, but a tv is just simpler just to kind of like you go on there you put your tv on speakers real in and everything else i mean i guess a tv wouldn't even be needed maybe just a, a monitor yeah that, with a hdmi that's what we found because something like that. obviously when you're touring around europe uh, unless you've got satellite dish you're not yeah. going to get sort of english speaking yeah. tv programs with a normal aerial yeah so we only use our tv to play dvds through it or we watch the internet on it because it's a smart tv yeah. so you, you know it's got built-in wi-fi um and we use it very little to be honest yeah and it's just on those days like you say when you've got really poor weather and you're stuck in the van yeah you might want to throw a dvd on or something like that yeah but i think for that i'd go with the um fire stick hdmi yeah. fire stick and then like you say streaming services yeah, exactly, or whatever yeah. but again that is just the days where I mean, I guess back in the UK, there'll be more days of the bad weather than there will be good weather, but there we go. Because the other thing we've got is the Chromecast, which is kind of a similar oh, thing, yeah, plugs is, in yeah. the back of the TV, and then when you're watching stuff on your iPad or your iPhone, you can just throw it up yeah. onto the TV screen quite easy. Yeah. iPhone's got something called AirPlay for that. Oh, of course. But it's a little bit more restricted. Yeah. You can't play movies across it for oh, copyright because of the copyright, stuff. yeah, sure. A bit weird. <laughs> Right then, uh, the next one is a bit of a kind of like recap of what we're going to be doing over the next few months. I mean, you're going to be holidaying for a while, yeah? For another few weeks, yeah. hopefully, yeah. We're heading north this week, so tomorrow, as you're watching this video, uh, we'll be heading back up north through Spain, France, Netherlands, um, and then back to the UK, um, simply because we've got family commitments, little grandson's birthday and stuff like that. Mm. So, yeah, you got to do these things. Yeah, yeah. Um, but... Um, in April, and it is the 25th and 26th of April, um, it's the International Campervan Show at Stratford, which is also the Overland Show, like the big Dakar trucks and all that kind of stuff's going to be there, but this time the emphasis is on 
um, self-build camper vans and kind of like you know smaller camper vans like ours panel van conversions or whatever so we're going to be there we're going to be there all weekend so uh, please do come along i think tickets are still available there's no issues with that um, and speaking of tickets and costs uh, we've got little promo codes so i'll put them on the screen now we've got one each so you can choose whichever you want <laughs> it's a 20 percent discount with either doesn't matter um and there's no competition who sells the most tickets. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's just a code we were given by the, you know, the organizer. I think it's Tommy who organizes it, and he gave us these codes anyway. So and it's um, at the uh, it's at the same venue where we had our lead yes, do, isn't yeah. it? At the Stratford Racecourse. Yeah. So it's quite central in England, so it's fairly easy for everybody to get to. Yeah, more services this time because it's the whole um, of the racecourse. Yeah. So you've got food on site. You've got people selling sort of like you know bits and bobs you've got um apparently there's going to be quite a few dealers and traders there as well yeah it looks like so, a really good event yeah should be pretty good um and then we're also going to be at camp quirky um again we're doing um a little bit of a talk aren't we yeah we're doing so, a couple of workshops i believe one on the saturday one on the sunday and uh we're going to do something a little bit different this year aren't yeah. we? we're going to do a sort of live q a so if you want to know anything about van life or anything about our travels or tech or anything like, anything that, like that then obviously have a think about it when you jet aircraft going over <laughs> training missions yeah have a think about what you would like to ask us please come along to those two workshops yeah and uh, you can ask your questions there and we'll be more than happy to answer them. yeah it's a free thing so basically as long as you're in quirky you're there come grab a chair sit down and i suppose it's a bit like this in a live session absolutely um, doing for an hour on saturday hour on sunday and there's going to be us and our partner as well so mandy yeah. and lou are going to be there and some other special guests um i think mevy's doing it darren's doing it um so that's as far as i know so far but yeah there's going to be a few people there that actually live in the van so full-time vanners you can ask all the questions you need and as a special little surprise for people um i think all the quirky tickets are sold now yeah, but yeah. Um, if you watch our vlog which is the next video like probably thursday from here uh, we've got a bit of a special announcement where we've got some quirky tickets to give away Ooh. including a dog ticket as well wow i know <laughs> it's possibly the last ticket yeah, would be yeah, available definitely. i know so, people were struggling to get yeah. those so if you want to know the details for that one don't email or anything like that just watch next week's vlog video um, and we'll explain all about it um it's no money or anything it's going to be a free giveaway um, but yeah we'll explain it in the next video right then well thanks for the last few weeks buddy oh, it's been really it's been enjoyable really cool. John. No, it's been great having you here because it's always nice to have company when yeah. you're traveling and, and share all of these experiences oh, yeah so you know we've had a blast with you guys on yeah, this holiday it's been cool isn't it? yeah it's been really good i'm going to be doing it again yeah oh yeah definitely when it's colder yeah. <laughs> scandinavia yeah. so yeah that's it next week it'll be just boring all me on my own and um yeah i'll probably be talking about the same sort of thing so any more questions bang them in the comments down below send them on email or put them on instagram and i'll uh, answer them all in next week's video so you guys take care hope the weather's all improving over there now no more storms and i'll catch you on the next one thanks a lot guys see you Bye. later